in the industry, you, you know, everybody kind of uh, keeps abreast of what the latest and greatest is in the market. And entertainment is very expensive, especially when you only have 150 seats. You just don't have that budget. So we looked around to try to find something that we can offer that, uh, you know, that kids and families can come in and play on a regular basis all the time. Whether you're a bar patron or you're a family or you're a kid, I mean, if you have a cell phone, you can play. The reality is, is you know, these phones are the, their connection. I have uh, people that come to the bar at least two, three times a week just to play tap TV. And of course, you know, beer specials, that helps. But you know, each round is only 20 minutes. So it's like, okay, I got 20 more minutes, give me another beer. And before you know it, it's been another hour. <laughs> they just can't leave. They're like, well, can I go home and play it? I'm like, sorry, you have to be in the restaurant. And then they go outside for a smoke break and they've got their phone outside with their cigarette and they're tapping and they're still playing. It's just so funny. <laughs> My name is Chris Perella and, and um, I've been with Dick's Wings for a little over a year. Our stores are always nestled typically uh, currently nestled into a neighborhood. Nocatee, perfect example. We are nestled in the heart of, of uh, over 3,000 homes. Uh, and and the, the family fun is when you're nestled into that neighborhood environment, that's who we see. We see the families on a regular basis. They enjoy what we provide. It's not only the wings that we do, but the environment for the family. The families in the dining room, they have their kids playing it. And the funny thing is there's questions that the kids know. And then there's questions, of course, that the adults know. So, I mean, it just the whole thing, they're all cheering and high-fiving. Kids are doing victory laps around the restaurant. It's just, especially when we get, it says, number one, Dick's Wings and Grill, Nocatee. So, it's been a good thing. And we put it in Nocatee, I want to say about six, seven months ago. Um, and it's just taken off. We, we knew it would uh, because, you know, the, the, not only is it the people that play on their phone, but when you're in the restaurant, everybody is going to look at your TV at least 10 times, at least 10 times. And if you got something up there to catch their attention and go, hey, let me, and I'm looking up at it right now because it catches my eye all the time. But you know, when you ask a question, you play the trivia game in your head. And you don't have to be that guy that's real competitive and I gotta win. It's, uh, do I know that answer? You know, and then you see what it is, and then that's that's the, what I want people to leave our restaurants with is, you know, I went up there, I had a good time, it was a great meal, and then I walk away with something extra. The thing that to, to make it successful is you gotta get your staff involved, and you know, we have a couple staff here that just embraced it, and uh, they they like to play, and I'm not against them playing, you know. I said, if it's not busy, play with the guests that are sitting at the bar, sitting at a table, interact with them. I want you to guess the next answer or, hey, who's winning at the table? You know, that type of thing. And, and that's the difference with the, you know, the adaptation. It took us a week to get, a, you know, 100 players when, you know, if you just leave it up to the guests, you know, it probably won't catch on because they're like, what is that? I don't know. And then half the staff don't know. So, um, you know, it, in a week's time, we had a ton of players, and it's just been building ever since. And that's when it really just started exploding. You know, people come in, I'm, I'm playing, and I'm like, you know, I got to go to the back. Here, you play. And I'd hand them my phone, and they're like, okay. And then before you know it, everybody's downloading the app, and they're like, it's the greatest thing ever. I'm Bonnie from Dick Swings, and I'm tapped in. Uh, the, the players themselves, you could just see it in their faces. You know, when we talk to them, they just want to play. And I've always judged it based on how many players do you have playing and what do, their, what do their faces look like when you see them playing and how do they interact with each other and our staff. And I can tell you that all the people that we play with, that are players that play here, interact with our staff, have fun with it, and that's why we're, I, I guess we're ranked in the top 10 or something like that, but I see it without having to talk, talk to a single guest. But the comments that I have had have been, they love it, it's fun, it's entertaining. I see them staying here later at night, I'm getting here a little earlier after work. So to me, in the long run, that's a win-win. You know, you, you have a good time, they come and stay a little longer, and they spend, hopefully, spend a little bit more money. But when they go home, they remember the experience, and that's what the, the key is. My name's Chris Perella. Uh, I'm the marketing director for Dick's Wings and I'm tapped in.